Lions live near Pride Rock. It is where coronations are held every generation to introduce a new king to the animals that coexist within their kingdom. However, before a lion could be crowned, it must first go through several daunting trials before it is deemed worthy to rule the land. First, it must live through a stampede of wildebeests. This is step one and it has wiped out nearly every lion cub in history. Even full-grown lions have a difficult time completing this task and often end up dead. When lions pass, they turn into thick clouds that haunt their children all through adolescence and offer some vague words about embracing their destiny and what have you. It serves to rejuvenate the lion when it's at its wit's end. Step second, a lion cub must escape from the clutches of his power-hungry uncle through an elephant graveyard. Hyenas are often involved in this step and they are quite a persistent bunch. It helps to loosen up the muscles by stretching out beforehand, but time is of the essence. Thirdly, a lion must befriend a warthog and a meerkat. They will teach the cub many life lessons including ones about assuming carefree attitudes and dietary choices that are detrimental to growing carnivores. They will also teach the cub a handful of brilliant dance numbers that will help it grow into an adult in mere seconds. Passage of time works differently when lions only consume worms and stag beetles. Fourth step, the final step, is returning home just in time to challenge its uncle to a duel which culminates in the uncle being eaten by hyenas at some point. Then the lion takes a victory lap around Pride Rock and embrace the loved ones it left behind before the journey began all those theatrical run time ago. And that's how a lion assumes its throne. The lion becomes a king. The lion. King. Once the dust finally settles, the lion will mate with another lion and breed an heir. What happens after is completely inconsequential and belongs in the bargain bin. It's not even worth a footnote in the annals of animal history. Eventually, the cycle of life begins anew and the lions are recast, but it's not as inspired. It certainly looks more expensive, but it doesn't quite capture the magic of the journey we grew up adoring. But it exists. It's a thing. To its credit, it's harmless and rather forgettable. Maybe it captures the imaginations of the younger generation, but it's whatever. I'm not the biggest fan and it's not even worth arguing over. I'm Pamela French Toast and this has been another Animal Facts. Stay tuned for more factual animal facts. Have a wonderful animal day.